Hello, welcome back to Cancer T classes. Today we'll be dealing with the question and answers of chapter 3 synthetic fibers and plastics. So let's begin. So the first question is explain why some fibers are synthetic. In chapter 3 we have studied that there are two types of fibers natural fibers and synthetic fibers. Natural fibers are the fibers which are directly obtained from a plant or an animal whereas some fibers are synthetic. So why are they called as synthetic? So the answer is synthetic fibers are the fibers made by human beings. These man-made fibers are produced from chemical processing of certain raw materials of petroleum called as petrochemicals. That is why they are called as synthetic fibers. Synthetic fibers are made up of polymers, example rayon, nylon, acrylic, polyester. Second question, mark the correct answer. Rayon is different from synthetic fibers because it has a silk like appearance. No, there are other synthetic fibers which also give a shiny appearance such as polyester and all. Or is it B, it is obtained from a wood pulp or is it C, its fibers can be woven like those of natural fibers. There are other synthetic fibers which also can be woven like natural fibers such as terulin which is a polyester. So the only answer would be it is obtained from a wood pulp that is rayon is the only synthetic fiber that is obtained from a natural source therefore it's also called as a semi-synthetic fiber. See this is the image how it is obtained from a wood pulp. From wood chips it is converted to wood pulp by the processing chemical processing and then from this wood pulp fibers are created. Question number three fill in the blanks with appropriate words. Synthetic fibers are also called dash or dash fibers. They are also called as man-made fibers or artificial fibers. Synthetic fibers are synthesized from raw material called as dash. In the first slide we discussed that synthetic materials are obtained from the chemical processing of petrochemicals. It is raw products of petroleum. Now like synthetic fiber plastic is also a dash. What is the answer? It is also a polymer. Give examples which indicate nylon fibers are very strong. Nylon fiber is a man-made fiber which is very strong. It is also elastic and light. So what are the examples that show that nylon fibers are strong? It is used for making parachutes. It is used for making ropes for rock climbing, for making car seat belts and fishing nets, for making sport accessories like strings of racket like tennis racket or something for making musical equipment that is a string of guitar, violin that also is made up of nylon. So nylon is very strong. These are some of the real time examples sleeping bag, ropes, seat belts, hose, tarpaulin, dental floss. these all are very strong. Okay. Question number 5. Why plastic containers are favored for storing food? We have seen in a home that most of the food items such as vegetables, fruits, leftovers, masalas, oil, they are all stored in plastic containers. So why do we prefer plastic containers for storing food? Because they are lightweight, they are strong and durable, they are very easy to maintain, they are non-reactive. This is the main point why we prefer plastic containers. That is they do not react with water, air or any chemical solvent. Whatever we store inside this plastic container, they are not reactive with the plastic. And they do not corrode easily like metals. That's why we prefer plastic containers for storing for food. Question number six. Explain the difference between thermoplastic and thermosetting plastics. Thermoplastics get deformed easily on heating and it can be bent easily. Whereas thermosetting plastics when molded once they cannot be softened by heating. They can be reused thermoplastics. Thermosetting plastics cannot be reused. Thermoplastics are not fireproof whereas thermosetting plastics are fireproof to some extent and a large varieties of thermoplastics are available here only less varieties are available. Example of thermoplastics are polythene and PVC. Example of thermosetting plastics are bakelite and melamine. Question number 7. Explain why the following are made of thermosetting plastics. A. Saucepan handles. B. Electric plugs, switches or plug boots. So let's see why 
thermal setting plastics are used for making saucepan handles. As thermal setting plastics are poor conductors of heat and they do not soften by heating, they are used for making saucepan handles thereby protecting our hands from heat. But as thermal setting plastics are poor conductors of heat, they are used for making saucepan handles. Now let's see why thermal setting plastics are used for making electric plugs, switches or plug boots. Thermosetting plastics like Bakelite are used for making electric plugs, switches, plug boards because they are a poor conductor of electricity and heat. As they are poor conductor of electricity, they do not conduct electricity thereby making it safe for us to use switches and all. Question number 8. Categorize the materials of the following products into can be recycled and cannot be recycled. So let's see the answer. Telephone instruments, they cannot be recycled. Plastic toys, they can be recycled. Cooker handles, cannot be recycled. Carry bags, can be recycled. Ballpoint pens, most of the ballpoint pens can be recycled, but there are nowadays uh, those ballpoint pens uh, which are made of thermosetting plastics, so they cannot be recycled, but most of ballpoint pens can be recycled so we are putting it in the category of can be recycled plastic ball they can be recycled plastic covering on electric wires they can be recycled plastic chairs it also can be recycled electric circuit switches cannot be recycled question number nine rana wants to buy shirts for summer should he buy cotton shirts or shirts made from synthetic material advise rana giving your reason so what will we advise Rana? Should he buy cotton shirts or nylon or rayon shirts? Surely Rana should buy cotton shirts for summer because cotton which is a natural fabric it absorbs more moisture content than synthetic fabrics. In summer people usually sweat. So by using a cotton fabric the sweat is absorbed by the cotton thereby making the person more comfortable. So Rana should buy cotton shirts. Question number 10. Give examples to show that plastics are non-corrosive in nature. Unlike metals, plastics do not react with water and air and they are not corroded easily as well. That is why it is used to store various kinds of material including many chemicals. So the question is give examples to show that plastics are non-corrosive. So the examples are many liquid chemicals that is cleaning chemicals are stored in plastic bottles and also plastics are used for storing many food materials such as pickles and all and you can find that they are non-reactive with the substance that is stored inside the plastic bottle. Question number 11. Should the handle and bristles of a toothbrush be made of the same material? Explain your answer. What would be your answer? Have you noticed your toothbrush? The bristles of the toothbrush are quite soft whereas the handle is quite hard. So, should the handle and bristles of a toothbrush be made of the same material? No. The handles and the bristles of the toothbrush should not be made of the same material. As the bristles of the toothbrush are very soft and flexible, whereas the handle of the toothbrush is very hard, so it should not be made of the same material. If the bristles of the toothbrush are very hard, it will affect our teeth and gums when we brush our teeth. And also if the toothbrush handle is very soft and flexible, then we cannot get a proper grip. So, the handle and the bristles of the toothbrush should not be made of the same material. Question number 12. Avoid plastics as far as possible. Comment on this advice. Even though plastics are widely used, the disposal of plastic is a very big problem. Plastics are non-biodegradable. That is, they are not decomposed by bacteria and it takes about several years to degenerate and hence they are not environment friendly. Besides, if you try burning plastics, they will release poisonous fumes resulting in air pollution. And also if certain animals while eating the food waste which we dump in the garbage, they swallow the bags and wrappers of food resulting in the death of animals as well. And even the polythene bags which we carelessly throw here and there, it clogs the drain too. Hence, plastics affect our environment in a very big way. So, it is advised to
to avoid plastics as far as possible question number 13 match the terms of column a which is polyester teflon rayon nylon all the synthetic fibers correctly with the phrases given in column b a prepared by using a wood pulp used for making parachutes and stockings used to make non stick cookwares and d fabrics which do not wrinkle easily so a polyester are the fabrics which do not wrinkle easily teflon is it prepared by a wood pulp no is it used for making parachutes and stockings no but it is used to make non stick cookwares rayon it is a semi synthetic Uh, fiber which is prepared by using wood pulp nylon is a very strong synthetic fiber used for making parachutes and stockings question number 14 manufacturing synthetic fibers actually helping conservation of forest comment so how does the manufacturing of synthetic fibers helps in the conservation of forest let's see synthetic fibers are made from chemical process without using any raw material obtained from any natural material such as plant or an animal they are prepared using petrochemicals that is a raw material of petroleum but natural fibers are the fibers that are obtained from plants and animals hence by using synthetic fiber the nature remains protected as we do not use these natural resources thereby conserving them let's see an example of rayon which is a synthetic fiber but it is a semi synthetic fiber we obtain rayon from wood pulp so we have to cut down the trees and all but if you are taking the fully synthetic materials such as polyester acrylic or nylon they do not use any natural material therefore by using synthetic fibers we could actually help conservation of our nature as well as forest question number 15 describe an activity to show that thermoplastic is a poor conductor of electricity So let's see the activity. Take an electric cable or a wire and connect it to a source of electricity. Wires are usually insulated using a thermoplastic material such as a polyvinyl chloride. Now remove the insulation from a small portion of the wire and expose the conductor. So just remove a small portion of this thermoplastic wire, okay, electric cable. And now test the flow of current by touching a tester onto the bare conductor using this tester. you just touch on to this bare conductor we can find that the tester shows the flow of current now when the tester is touched upon the insulated portion of the wire the flow of current is not detected this shows that thermoplastic is a poor conductor of electricity so that's all for today's video tune in soon for the next session the next session would be on chapter 4 materials metals and non metals and don't forget to share like and subscribe if you find this content useful thank you so much may god bless you all take care bye bye